Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to share with you my opinion from a gamer's perspective uh, of the COS KC75. Now these little headsets are a marvel, cost me only $28 on Amazon.com. You can even get them at $20 uh, the last time I checked today at Amazon.com. So what's crazy about it basically, it looks cheap right, but listen, the sound that comes out of these clip-on headphones will just blow you away. So what I was expecting, well, I expect something that sounds good, uh, but still something that flat and maybe something that remind me those, uh, you know, earphones that you buy and you're duty free, but just better quality, something like that. This is far, far from the truth. The one thing I can tell you that the sound is so balanced that, you know, usually when I play with the different type of uh, headphones or I listen to them at the store, something is off it doesn't sound natural i think the open more openness nature of these headphones this is something that i wanted to know first of all how it would be like listening to open headphones compared to closed one and this will give me an idea first of all i got an idea this is mind-blowing and now from now on i'm definitely going to use open back and not close back hands down for gaming and for everything else now the reason for that is that uh, it just sounds so natural, it's unbelievable. All this thing that sounds um, artificial when it comes to close back is gone. I mean, I'm not saying that every one that I will try will be like that, but the KC sounds super natural. Like, let me give you an analogy. So I can give you from photography, like you're taking a, a raw file compared to a compressed JPEG. So the sound from the KC75 feels like, like a good raw file. It contains well all the details there for the sound. And when you lift it up, it naturally lifts it up and it leads to really high quality results, basically. Whether compared to uh, if you take a compressed image and try to play with it, uh, because it's compressed and lacking details, you're not going to get great results if you're going to edit it, at least to some extent. So out of the box, uh, if, if you are really enjoy bass, Again, it will feel flat to you, but not totally flat as I expected. You can still hear beautiful thumps, but when I play the game, I wanted to kind of lift them up a bit. And I play with the equalizer, and uh, the result will bl they blew my mind away, basically. I didn't expect the bass to be so prominent. It's even more prominent than my closed headset, the Oculus 5S. Much more, much more rounded, full, and, and soft, and beautiful to listen to. Now, the reason for that, it, it surprised me because I wasn't actually expecting that. I thought it was going to be totally flat and I wouldn't even hear the, the bass. Uh, but it wasn't the case. I mean, I heard about open back, the, the sound compared to close back. It, the bass that came out of this one is far exceeding my Arctic 5S, which are closed gaming headphones. I mean, how could it be? I mean, it shouldn't be like that. This I didn't expect that. I didn't even read about that anywhere. I mean, this is well enough to satisfy me for anything bass related stuff. So I listen to music with it, pop music, uh, I mean, of course, lots of gaming. And by far, I compared it also to my Steel Series Arctic 5 and to the Truthy Red. And by far, the K KSC 75 sounds for me much better, not just better, so much better compared to the others. And even I went to the tooth here and I tried to kind of uh, tweak a bit with the equalizer and even a slight thing just threw it so out of balance. Uh, although again, by default, the KSC just sound incredible compared to those two. I mean, you can actually see some of the things just quite chronicle. I don't know why the name sticks, uh, but in the settings, but basically uh, I lowered the bass a bit even, you know, and I realized that, well, I really don't need it to be that much. Just need it to be very harmonic with the other sounds, so it's unnatural. But again, when I lift it a bit up, it sounds still great without distortions. And the sound, the volume was actually great. I can really lift it up very, very high, way high in terms of volume that what I would consider were acceptable, way more. So yeah, it can easily be drive with anything basically, even with your mobile phone, of course. It actually reminded me what it was many years ago when I was in audio show and I listened to some Italian speakers. They sound so incredible. I wish I remembered remember the name, but this was such a memorable moment that I remember it until today. But the same thing happened today with the KC75. With the sound quality was so good that it just punched me in the face. And I asked myself, well, why are you actually buying gaming headphones if these little things can give such great audio quality? 
I mean, it's also very comfortable to my ear. It's so light, I can wear it all day. Yes, I might find maybe the clips a bit annoying, depends on the anatomy of course of your ears, but for me, very very comfortable. But why do I need everything else? Well, it depends, right? If you're talking about gaming heads, a headset, of course, if you need a microphone, you need some buttons to be for convenient, like rolling with the volume, you need the chat mix, and you know, uh, uh, and also noise reduction capabilities, and so many other things, wireless option. Gaming headphones offering much more, of course, than just sound quality. But again, if you're just talking about sound here, this will beat so many headphones uh, by far. Those even cost way, way more in the price scale. I'm talking the high-end end phones. This will still beat them in terms, some of them in terms of sound quality. Now, I can definitely understand those of you who are kind of disappointed when they're investing a lot because you can expect a lot more. And when I went to the store, because I didn't own all of these and I tried different gaming headphones uh, and I listened to them, I wasn't impressed at all. I didn't get this, oh, well, this is something else. This is something different that worth my attention. No, there are many of them that cost much more uh, that I wasn't impressed of. But when I put this one on and I start playing, even before tweaking it a bit, just by default, I knew that this is something different. Now, of course, there are differences between you know the acoustics if you take an in in ear uh, earphone or if you take uh, a closed back headphones compared to open back. But for me, definitely, I realized that for me, open back is the way to go. It just sounds so much natural. Again, I didn't understand exactly what it is until I tried it. This leads me to want to try out more expensive open back to see whether you know because this is the one to beat for me right now. They can actually be the sound quality and I wonder how the more expensive offering will be. But right now that I know that I won't open back for sure, I'm going to go and uh, give one of the recommended ones a try and see if I like them. Now it actually make me laugh when I travel a lot before, uh, I carry my gaming headphones. Uh, I mean, because I'm carrying an external microphone anyway, there was need, no, was, wasn't any need to actually get something much bigger and bulkier when something tiny as this can be satisfying. So first of all, things to address, first of all, uh, sound outside, external sound, can you hear them? Well, you can, but when you play a game, for example, listen to music, because it's so close to your ear, it's gonna mask it out in most part. So I can't even hear the fans coming out of my laptop, which is usually pretty loud when I'm playing a game, so it's not an issue at all. But of course, if you have lots of sound going on around you, uh, you might prefer a uh, close back so we can encapsulate the sound or maybe in-ear headphones, so it'll be less uh, affected by it. Regarding uh, soundstage, how, you know, the volume of the sound when you hear it, well, it depends, of course, on the source and if we're using, for example, just stereo or virtual surround and, or gaming or just some overall, it felt wider compared to what I use again with my uh, close back. It feels very cramped. Uh, and I can say that um, when I'm listening to music, for example, or uh, playing in games, it really sounds more expensive. I think if you ask me for distance, it sounds like around, well, uh, uh, 30 centimeters, uh, something like that, uh, which in feet, I'm going to tell you, it's um, around one feet from the head in many situations. So it does feel expensive. When you're listening, uh, listening to something with virtual sound, oh boy, this was blew me away. For two things. First of all, sound can sound so far away for me. Uh, by that I mean, really encompasses the size of the room uh, far. This is something I haven't experienced before, not to that degree. And the other thing is, Usually when I'm activating a virtual sound, it's kind of a play with the sound in a way that drew in the sound, so I prefer not using it. But for some reason, with the KSC 75, it sounds great still. Unbelievable. And again, I'm asking myself the same question. If this one can produce such a sound, why the heck I'm gonna pay more unless I want all the other you know, features with some, of course, gimmicky some are useful for some for gaming headphones. Seriously, I have already an external microphone and regarding playing with the volume or chat mix, it's not really a must for me. Uh, so for me, this thing is just the one to beat. Basically, it just I can take the Arctic 5 and throw it to the garbage. I'm just kidding. I don't want to throw it to the garbage. This is going to be as a backup, but I'm not going to use it. And this was my favorite gaming headphone until now. It's actually such a jam that I'm, I'm, I'm actually angry that I haven't bought another another one just in case, you know, because again, I need to order it from abroad because I can't find it anywhere else near me because it's just that good. But again, I didn't know that ahead of time, of course. So if you hear people saying about flat sound, you know, just play a bit with the Ecolas if you want the extra ba bass and you're going to get it. It's going to be full 
amazing. You won't believe it. Really, at least to my ears, it's just incredible. Really, way, way far from what I thought it's going to be. I thought it's not going to be existent at all. Well, just a little bit, little bit. But it's amazing. So this is it. Again, of course, it's cheap. Plastic key. But again, all the other advantages. Again, it won't have all the bells and whistles that you get with gaming headphones. But if you're searching for sound quality, something cheap that is far from being any cheap when it comes to sound quality. Not just that. Sounds insanely good. This is the one to get. Thanks for watching.